morning, friends, and welcome back. I found this planner in a high-end stationery store, and it's got a nice hard cover on the front of it. It's not meant for the purposes I'm going to use it for. It's meant for some type of journaling, but I can still take all kinds of notes and write instructions inside of here, and I wanted to make it very pretty, so I'm going to decoupage this with fabric and I'll show you how I did this. I got this fabric, I believe it was at Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to show you how I decoupage the fabric on here. Now to make this easier, I made sure to cut out a piece of fabric that was a bit larger than the surface that I was going to be covering. Now I cut out two of these since I'm covering the front and the back of my book. This is why I didn't put a video out last week. I'm still having a little bit of trouble after catching that bad cold. I decided that it was best to use a ruler to cut out that second piece, but the first piece I cut was a little off on the sides or the edges. So I just outlined the notebook with this ruler and then I use the scissors to cut a very nice straight line. Now if you have an edge like I do up here, either on the top or the sides where you've got this spiral spring, the thing that holds the pages together and the front of the cover on here, I just moved the fabric up as far as I could near that spring, that coil, and I cut away some of the excess. Now I know you probably have a different notebook, but this is just in case you have this type of a notebook also. So I'm using the Americana decoupage glue in the matte finish. It's a lot easier to add a high gloss to a matte if, rather than trying to add a matte top coat over a glossy finish. So this is the easier way to do it. So what I'm going to do is cover this whole surface with the matte decoupage glue. I'm going to carefully place my fabric down over this surface and then I'm going to run my hands over to make sure that the decoupage glue comes up through the fabric. You can see I'm wearing my robe here and you can probably tell from my video I am uh, coming off of a cold and even though I've got cough drops and warm honey water I still keep having trouble with my voice going in and out, but it's a lot easier to talk and describe what's going on rather than edit the video with subtitles, which takes forever. So, sorry, back to the video. So I'm now going to place another layer of decoupage glue over the top of this, but I want to make sure that I am pressing this down, especially get those edges down. So. Press any wrinkles or bubbles out. You might even have to pull the fabric a little bit tighter just to make sure you've got a nice flat surface. And while that's still wet, I'm going to go back in and apply the second coat of my decoupage glue over the whole surface. And for these corners, I'm going to go in with my very sharp scissors and cut this just like you would if you were wrapping a gift and continue to decoupage these side pieces inward on the inside of the flap. I also took a damp and then a dry cloth just to remove any excess glue from the inside. And I'm just using this open container to show you, you want to make sure that you leave something under there so that both the inside and the outside can dry. And I just went back into this area and cut away these excess pieces of material. And I also went back in with a smaller brush just to decoupage those pieces down. Now everything is dry, so what I'm going to do is take some paper glue 
and I thought this would be better than the decoupage glue just inside here. I outlined everything and put some more glue in the center here because I want to fold the front page onto this and press it down so that I now have a nice neat page. I see there's a little tear there so I'm just going to fix it up with this glue. But I want to press this page down so that when you open the book it's got a nice clean finish on the inside here. And I did this on the inside of both the front and the back flap. I only did this on the front and I'm using the most permanent glue you can find to put these crystals on the front and I just want to cover up this edge here along that coil. Now everything has dried. So the surface has dried, the crystals are dried on there, and I'm going to show you two different ways to protect this. Each one is a top coat or a varnish, but one of them is the triple thick, very high gloss, and I'm going to use some glitter. And for those of you who don't like the high gloss or the glitter, I'm going to show you the matte top coat that I used on the other side. While the triple thick is still wet, I sprinkled some coarse glitter over this and then I used some fine glitter over it. Believe it or not, I think I actually overdid it a little bit on the glitter because I love this pattern and it made it a little more challenging to see, but at least we've still got this other side. So on the other side, I already used this Deco Art Dora Clear Matte Finish Varnish so you can see there is very, very little shine on there. This will protect your work. And I now have a new planner slash organizer. I am not going to lose track of this with all of that glitter and those crystals on there. I will have links down below for you uh, for most of the products. And I will show you this cool pen that actually lifts up those crystals so that you can glue them onto the surface. Thank you so much for subscribing, the thumbs up, the comments. I do read all of your comments. I do have a Facebook page. I am not able to get back to people these days. Uh, this is going to be one of those years, guys. I'm trying to get the videos out, but I'm also trying to pack, declutter, look for a new home, clear out this home, and I just love making these videos and hearing from you. So thank you guys for your well wishes and sticking with me. Don't forget the product list is down below and you can purchase the supplies from me. I also wanted to mention there is a page on Facebook called Decoupage Designs USA. There are several lovely women over there that can help you with any of the questions you may have about decoupage, about products, projects, things like that. So if you go over and friend them on that page, they can be a huge help to you. And in the meantime, my friends, don't forget, and I love to hear from you. I am so grateful that all of you are still sticking with me while I'm trying to get through this hectic time. And uh, hopefully I will see you guys next week with another video. Take it easy, my friends. Bye-bye.